It is several days later, but we are going to go ahead and finish out this video. All that's left is the living room and the sideboard area. However, I did go and buy more fall decor, so we might go and touch up some of the other areas in the house and just add a piece here and there. Also, because it's been several days, some of those areas that I cleaned are no longer clean because that's life. That's normal. Later in the video, I'm going to be sharing with you a fall recipe that I'm making for dinner. It's a little similar to one of the recipes that I shared with you last year in my fall recipes video, but this one's a little better. It's like new and improved. All right, let's go. Okay, so here's the decor that I have left to decorate with. I have two of these pumpkins over here. This one says pumpkin patch and it's got some like pastel colored pumpkins on it. This was $10 at Dollar General, which I was surprised. It seems a little pricey, especially considering that this pillow that says let's snuggle and watch scary movies was only $5 at Target. And they're like the same thickness. If anything, this one's a little thicker, so. A little overpriced from Dollar General, but I liked it anyways. And then I have, this is like a pop-up stand with glitter, some fall leaves, an autumn's blessing sign, that's just from the Dollar Tree, an assortment of pumpkins from Target from the Dollar Tree, and I think that's it. This is a little pumpkin candle from Target, some extra ribbons, florals, these are new signs. These signs are from the Dollar General, are from Dollar General. And then I have some more pumpkins here, some plates. This is like a larger pumpkin with floral arrangements in it. And if you look, you can kind of take them in and out. So I thought this was a nice piece to get. It was $10. And sometimes these carvable larger pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and things can get really expensive, like $20. So this is a good base. And then each year you can change it out or you can put some of these little picks in it if you wanted to, which is actually really cute and then this um turning sign which is adorable i like it a lot we're gonna get started on decorating well cleaning we're gonna get started on cleaning so that we can get to all the fun decorations ottoman is very overdue for some cleaning this is a close-up of the before of it to be honest i can't exactly remember what i spilled on it but if we're being completely honest it was probably coffee Just to remind you, this is the before and this is the after. And honestly, it didn't take me that long. The hardest part of this cleaning project was just carrying the carpet cleaner from the closet over into this corner. It's hard to capture it on camera, but this grass wall actually gets really dusty in here. Right here, you can see a little dust mite. And so what I do for this is I just kind of vacuum it all up. So I'm gonna take a quick moment before I put the bar car and the ottoman back to just go ahead and vacuum the grass wall and then vacuum the floor.
feels a little simple, but also at the exact same time I feel a little cluttered. So we'll figure it out as we go. Sometimes and it feels like a war zone. I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me. Close the door, baby. Pull me closer now before it's over. I just wanna love you a little bit more. Oh, I know that it's difficult dealing with emotions, but I want you to know that you'll always be on my mind, even in the hard times. I care about you. How do you move on? Just wanna love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer now before it's over. I just wanna love you a little bit more. Oh, And as a final touch, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some Febreze, just so that it not only looks like fall in here, but it smells like fall in here. Okay, then the last little bit that we need to do is this area right behind me, and then like this console table that kind of sits behind the couch, if there's extra pumpkins for that, which I feel like there should be, so it's just, Tidying this place up, which this stuff is mostly clean. I think I'm just gonna clear off the console table and then just kind of build from scratch just like I did in the living room. I wanted to take the fall smells one step further, so I went ahead and purchased this wax warmer. I'm a big fan of wax melts and warmers. This one in particular is from Target's Opal House collection and I got it for $16. And a pack of six to eight wax melts are just $2. I think it's super affordable compared to just buying more and more Bath & Body Works candles, which I still do. But it's just nice to have an option when I wanna try and save money. And I'll go ahead and link this specific one down below for you all.
Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone say If you've made it this far, you are over halfway through the video. If you're looking for more fall decorating, then I will link part one of my fall theme and decorate in the upper right hand corner for you all. Also, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I went ahead and added this floral arrangement in the center with whatever leftover florals I had. And I think it kind of fills out the space a little bit more so that it's just not all pumpkin. So I have the floral arrangement there and then it kind of correlates with the one that's way over there in the distance. The only thing I really wanted to go back and adjust or add to is the bedroom. I wanted to put this little pumpkin pillow here on the bed just to make it feel a little more fall. Otherwise it just looks completely normal in here. Now that the house is clean and decorated, it is time to get to work on dinner. This recipe is extremely easy. First step, peel your sweet potatoes. I'm using two here, but I would recommend about one per person that you plan on feeding, obviously depending on the size of the potato. Then all we need to do is dice them up and prep them on a baking sheet. I'm drizzling them with oil and seasoning them with garlic salt, garlic powder, and some pepper, but you do you. And then you wanna bake them until they're like semi-soft, which will depend on the size of your chunk. Okay, first things first, you wanna go ahead and brown your meat, whether you're using beef or turkey or even tofu. You can make this with tofu if you'd like. I'm using ground turkey here. And then I also have a pot of rice going. And then in the oven are the sweet potatoes. And I'm basically gonna let those go until they're slightly soft. I don't wanna overcook them because I don't want them to turn into mush in the chili. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and drain and rinse some beans. I'm using dark red kidney beans and black beans. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the pot. The next step is to add some tomato sauce. I'm adding this so that we get more of a runny chili as opposed to a thick chili. But again, it's completely up to your preference and if you wanted to add more than one can, you could. I'm just adding one eight ounce can. I'm gonna be following that up with some chili seasoning. This is completely up to you. You can use whatever brand you want. Okay, it is time for my favorite step and this is the thing that I think really makes this recipe fall. But we're gonna go ahead and add in some brown sugar. This is some light brown sugar. This and the sweet potatoes really do make this so fall and so cozy. And mixing that with the spice from the crushed red peppers, or if you wanna just do the cayenne pepper, gives you that nice spicy sweet. And you would think that you're just making this contrasting dish, but I promise you, they complement each other so well. If you've never put brown sugar into your chili before, I would recommend just slowly doing bits by bits and then doing a taste test in between and then until you have the right combination of spicy sweet that you like. The same goes for the spicy seasonings as well. So you have a few options here. You can go ahead and mix sweet potatoes in with the chili or you can serve it like I am where I'm just putting the rice and the sweet potatoes and then the chili. 
because I'm gonna probably just mix everything together anyways. And then I would normally top this off with some sour cream and cheese, but I am out of sour cream, so just cheese for today. Thank you all so much. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed all the cleaning, all the decorating, and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you check it out. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribing to the channel really does help, and it brings you more content that you love to see. I'll see you next week.